This week, Garen and Ellie create a rustic wood buffet table, and we take a big bite out of the finishing touches on my earthbag bedroom. We're gonna build a firewood rack slash kind of bar buffet thing. We're gonna figure out how big we want it. We do have this awesome ashes bucket, so we wanna have room for that on the side. So maybe like, should we center it with the picture frames? Or is that too long? That seems like it's too long. Maybe like in between picture frames. Is that in the middle there? Um, Maybe come back a little bit. There. Four foot? Four foot, that sounds good. We can also see what our boards are outside too because we're using powder boards. I think you tell me we'll just bring it in a little. <laughs> okay, that's on the game. <laughs> we found these in our pile of pallets. It's actually pallet innards but it doesn't have the little cutouts like we eat. So I think it's gonna look a lot nicer. We'll see how long they are. Three, five and a half. Well that'll fit in between the two. Then we have the top that we're gonna use. Oh yeah, this is really cool. My dad loves trimming trees and he trimmed these cedar trees and someone cut the boards out for him. They're really pretty looking. They're kind of dried out right now, but as soon as we sand them down, they'll be red again. See, that's the color it is. That's so pretty, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, wow, that's gonna be so cool. Mm-hmm. This one. Here, how about this one? Yeah. We might need to rip the one side on each of them. Let's grab one straight skinny one and maybe we'll put it in the middle with this side. I like the live edge on these two. Yeah, it looks really cool. Okay, so I think we have all our pieces. We just gotta put it together. Nice. Get our tools set up and start this process. Alright, let's do it. this awesome track light replace her current track light up there you can clearly see it it's absolutely gorgeously beautiful spider webs up there you know when you start souping up a room you know upgrading things there's things that start looking a little bit too old or run down or something as you're doing it I'm going to replace this black light for Brie it's black because I know it's moving, but the fan blades are black. The reverse side of them was black. I had it on, on brown. Bryson did that for me yesterday. So they are going to match the track lights. Suddenly, no. you're remodeling the whole thing. Yeah, like, there's things you're like, oh my gosh, that needs to be replaced. And that was the case with the track light. You know it's a little confusing though? They show a black light here and white lights with the assembly. So I'm just, I'm a little confused by that. Safety is very important. What are those? <laughs> All right, it's down. Hey look, the last filament condescent light bulb. Okay, for starters, we're gonna start sanding everything down so that we can just slap it all together. That's a pretty one. Yeah, it is. Look at that one. That's so cool. That is really cool. <laughs> it looks like a spinning disc, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> That's cool. Maybe you could get the grinder and cut these these nails off. Okay. They're sticking out pretty bad. Alrighty. That one's all ready to go now, huh? Yep. So. All right, <laughs> that was good, babe. Yeah. Ready to put it together? Yeah, let's do it. Ah. So what I'm do thinking Do we want to measure and make sure they're all the same? Yeah, we probably do, huh? That's a good, that's a good thought. So cut this guy here. There. Get back to this one side. Okay, um, sweet, let's glue this too, huh? 
Yeah, that's a good idea. So it's a can? A little extra sturdiness. Now for the hard job of nailing this together. <laughs> You're right, that looks really hard. It is. It's, it takes a lot of work on the, the arm to hold that heavy nail gun up. Can you hold something? Yeah, could you just hold that end up? This end up? Yeah. All right, we'll get it twisted straight. It's not that bad, really. Got overexcited with the nail gun? Yeah. Just. Not so that you'd notice though. Uh, it's gonna be a little tall, but I think it's all right. That one not so cool. Okay. Ooh, you remember. I did. Brilliant. Like this. Okay, so now we just need to rip our uh, our top sheet down, kind of put that together, see how wide it's gonna be. And then make the bottom braces. I did a lot of 10 minutes of research on what I should get for this uh, <laughs> 10 line. minutes of research. A lot of 10 minutes. I went on Amazon and I found one for like 30 bucks. And we tried it out. It had really good reviews on Amazon. And it was super cheap, I was very surprised. Sometimes it gets good reviews because it's like, oh my gosh, it's great for $30. Hopefully it sheds some light on the subject. Let's see what we got. So Bryson. Ooh, shiny. Are you tracking? <laughs> Here they are. Ooh. Can I take out the caution inside? The caution Is tape? Is it like a Is it what? Take that out. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just read it to say that oh we my. read it. Caution, to reduce risk of fire, only use a max of 50 watt volts or 25 volt max. Alright, so, so there you go. Case of fire, other emergency, exits right there. <laughs> I thought it was pretty easy to assemble. Pretty it good. was really fun to install. Yeah. I enjoyed myself. I loved how the things just clipped in. You'd think you'd have to take one end off and slide them in, but no, they just go, it was really nice. So perfect. Looks great in there. It's simple, yeah. it's clean, exactly what I wanted, and it didn't break the bank. You about can't complain. All right, is it drum roll time? Which can I try? Uh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Six, Looks seven. great, Bri. Thank you. Okay. The widest point sinks is only 14 inches. And we're probably going to have to take a half inch off the bull side. Okay. So look at 13 inches. Do you want it wider? No. What are you thinking? Let's rip these two down, take a half inch off the bull sides, kind of straighten them out, mm -hmm. and then take a look at what. That would be nice. So if we take and we add four inch piece in the center then. Okay. It'll be 16 and then 15 and maybe a little 17 spots. But that'll be about perfect. Yeah. So let's do that then. Did someone wake up? Yeah. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Look what we're doing out here. Look what we're building. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready? ready to play in here? Ooh.
Alrighty, I think I got them pretty close to squared off, at least to the best of my abilities. I bet they're good. What do you think about that, huh? That looks really cool, babe. Do we want to sand it or? Yeah, let's put it together first though. Okay, so we can just sand it all together? Yeah, so it kind of all sands in one. and forth with what I want to do with the furniture in there and I decided that I'm gonna keep the furniture that I got in there for now just repaint it what you up to okay we are going to be painting this armor thing I've got a little extra yellow and a little extra white that I'd like to use I don't know how much of it I tried to get more of it but they were completely out of what I needed so we have a lot of extra stuff from whitewashing the ceiling she and I are just gonna go through and use the whitewash stuff as a primer and then we'll go through and we'll hit it with our two paints in the hopes that we can stretch it enough to finish the project Pretty, babe. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Let's see what happens if we sand just a little bit. I was a little worried it wasn't gonna flow together for some reason. Oh, no, it's it okay. Looks great. Let's put it together, huh? No going back now. We are getting here. Now we're just going to cut the end cap pieces. We got some going up here and one going here. And it's going to kind of cap this whole thing off. Alright. Perfect. So I think the biggest bear cat this week is getting that floor cleaned. We had quite a few comments wondering what we were gonna do for the floor. There's been a lot of debate on whether it's gonna come up or not, completely redo it. And I think up until this week, we really decided I really would like to preserve it. All right, so we got the room cleaned out and now we're gonna do the floor. We had to just scrape it off all the mud with this stuff and then washing it with a deck brush. We got our water here and as soon as we get the big part scraped off, hit it with the deck brush and see if it comes off. Okay, I know we need to hit this with a rag and get it up, but it looks like the white's gonna come off, huh, Brian? It does. A little bit of scrubbing, but I think it will. Yeah, I think so too. We're pretty excited. All right, coming to a close. You do not expect all that white stuff to come off the mm -hmm. floor. Because it's mud, if we soaked it a little bit, it came off a easier. But you know, when you're down there and your hands and knees and you're like, you know, five or six inches away from it at times, there's a lot of paint on it, but it seems like it's just blended in with the texture in there. Which is actually kind of cool, because like you don't get that with some floors. Mm -hmm. Like you stain them, they're done. They're yeah. always stained like carpet. But with this floor, it seems to just blend in. Mm -hmm. It's already a dirt floor and dirt just seems to hide. It hides everything, so I love it. Oh, babe. That looks pretty good, huh? Oh, it's beautiful. Get the hand saw. Yeah. That sounds good. Right, huh? Yeah. Oh wow, it's just neat now. Blow this thing off, mm -hmm. and then take it inside and see what it looks like. I think it's too tall. It looks really tall. It looks a little weird, this tall. So we're gonna cut this down. I think it's gonna look a lot better. So do we know how far we're cutting down, or are we just are we not, are we skipping I'm just measuring measuring again? again? Yeah, we're skipping measuring again. <laughs> Perfect. We got this stuff from when we did the kitchen counter. 
and it worked really well. It's a little bit thicker, I think, than the standard polyurethane. That looks so good. It does. It really like brought the beautiful red color out in it, didn't it? Yeah, it sure did. I think it's gorgeous now. You can't buy that kind of stain. <laughs> no, you can't. Put it dry and put it in, huh? Yeah, I think so. All right, Azalea, what do you think? We finished it while you were napping again. Get your, your workout in. Yeah. We've got the floor cleaned up here. When we had done so much, you know, on it, I mean, we must have hit it with every object we had in the house and we scrubbed it maybe three or four times to get it really super clean. It had a really rough texture after that. And it's like we had taken off the wax coating that was there previously. Yeah, like it was it's zip time, the high, baby. I don't know. We did this on Shay's room. We just love how waxy it is. It was rough. I was a little bit worried yeah. about that, but we have recently discovered a high polish wax. We're not sponsored by Zep, but we're gonna give Zep a try. Awesome. Let's go. Please pass the zip. That's what we were doing oh, as we were as we were waxing it. Turned out great. It looks great on the floor. It's got that finish that I so have loved over the years. It's fun to walk on. These are the kind of floors that really embrace your feet. Oh, it looks so perfect, babe. It's cool, huh? We're just missing one piece to that puzzle. All right, I'm on our canvas like right here. Yeah, I think so. I'm like that? I love it, it looks so cool. <laughs> It'd be really nice to have the, the firewood rack in here too. We can really get a lot of firewood in here. Or if it rains or something, the wood's still dry and we can keep the fire going, keep it warm. Yeah, it's perfect. Huh? Do you want to feel, see how smooth it is? Oh yeah, it's nice, huh? You like it? love it in there the new paint job all the colors have come together the pieces of furniture those surprisingly have seem to be coming together as well it's beautiful it's yeah really cool. oh i just love being in there it's so cool i've got a few more things i want to do i got a new bed that's on the way that's going to take a few weeks to get here hopefully that'll tie that bed in there i'm thinking about repainting the stove we'll see how that goes and i'd like to create some custom decorations that'll go in there and hang up on the walls or i'm not sure what i'll do i'll just keep mulling and then when i have something i'll share it with you so much fun to walk in and be in and sleep in. It seems to be a little, little beach house retreat and that seems to be the theme that has developed over the color palette. So pretty exciting. You need some seashells in there and some other things. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'll, we'll go on some like trips and pick up fish. some seashells that'll have fish. some memories. I don't Maybe know. shark's do teeth or something. <laughs> Well, that wraps up this week. The feature design of the week is Dirt Isn't In My House, Dirt Is My House. If you'd like to pick this up on a t-shirt, sweatshirt, handbag, apron, or many of the other products that we have down in our shop, as well as all of the designs that we offer, the link will be down in the description. If you missed Wednesday's video, Bryson walked me through how to make his special no-bake cookie recipe, another Brie Barely Bakes episode. The link for that will also be down there in the description. Thank you so much for being a part of our family, and we'll catch you Monday for that podcast. Bye! Brie picked up a awesome bar light. Is that what they call these bar Track lights? Track lights. Track lights. It looks like a bar. That's why I was thinking bar light. <laughs> I know, you know, bar with awesome. glasses. Our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. Anyway, bar light, bar light. Track, bar light. Light. Tri tri light? Track, track light. Track light. Track light. Track light.